Hello everyone, today we're talking about hot bars. Also, be sure to like this video so Algorithm Senpai notices me. <laughs> Thank you very much, and let's get started. Moving over here to the display section of the hot bar settings, we have a bunch of toggles, starting with display recast times. This shows you how much time you have left before you can use an ability again after you use it. You can also change the location of that timer to the bottom left or center. Hide unassigned slots will just hide slots in your hotbar that you are currently not using, cleaning up your UI. Each hotbar has a number associated with it, 1 through 10, and the display hotbar numbers toggle will show you the number of the hotbar to the left of it. Enable hotbar cycling button will leave these two arrows to the left of your hotbar 1, which lets you cycle through your different hotbars just using hotbar 1. If you have enable hotbar cycling button enabled and you enable include pet hotbar when cycling, that will also include the pet hotbar when cycling through the different hotbars. Enable drag and drop repositioning. I used to think this lets you just move abilities around your hotbars, but that's not the case. That's what this lock here is for. That'll stop you from being able to move stuff around your hotbars. But what enable drag and drop repositioning is, is it enables you to actually move the hotbars themselves around without having to go into your HUD menu. For that to work, as well as enable drag and drop repositioning, you also need to display hotbar numbers. And with that displayed, you can actually just grab the hotbar by clicking and holding its number, and you can just drag it around your screen. So you can actually move your hotbars around without going into the HUD menu. Finally, what all these final toggles here are, are just enabling and disabling the different hotbars in your UI. So if you don't want to see some, you can just disable them here. You can also change the orientation of every single hotbar here to really customize your user interface. Now for the pet hotbar display settings, I feel like I should explain the different pets you have in this game. So the first type of pet you have are your summons, like your fairies or your carbuncles. The second type of pet are your regular mounts that you just summon out in the world. And the third type of pet, which has its own separate hotbar, are these special duty mounts, like the duty mounts that you would use in like Beast Tribe Quest or your Chocobo during Chocobo races. The special duty pets are what pet hotbar display is referring to here. So you can change when this hotbar for your special duty pet is available in a duty. You can make it so the actions for this pet are available on both the pet hotbar and the cross hotbar when you're using that. You can only display it on the cross hotbar controller users and you can also only display it on the pet hotbar if you want. Now if you have the pet hotbar enabled for your special duty pets you can display your duty pets actions in both the pet hotbar and hotbar 1, only the pet hotbar or just have it on hotbar 1. And those are the settings for your special duty mounts, your chocobo races and all that. This next toggle here, automatically replace hotbar 1 with pet hotbar when mounted. This setting is more for the actual mounts that you own and summon. And you can change if you want the mounts abilities, special abilities to show up on your hotbar 1 or just don't to just keep it on the pet hotbar. You can do the same thing with your fashion accessories like your parasols. You can have your fashion accessories actions on your hotbar 1 or just disable that and keep it on the pet hotbar. Next up we have the sharing is caring tab the shared hotbar here you can enable which hotbars are shared among certain jobs so that way you can add stuff to your hotbars and enable it as a shared hotbar and it'll stay the same throughout all the different jobs you pick if you use different jobs you usually have a few hotbars you leave unshared for you know job abilities and things like that you can enable shared hotbars for both your 10 main hotbars and the eight cross hotbars. On the next section here, we have cross, which is all about the cross hotbar, which is great for controller users. So first off here, you can enable and disable the cross hotbar. And we have a bunch of other toggles here right under that. Always display cross hotbar will always display the cross hotbar even when it's not being used. And if you have this not toggled, then it will only display the cross hotbar when you're pressing one of the left or right uh, triggers. Display hotbar help. Hotbar help is the text above the cross hotbar when you have it activated that shows you which actions are in the specific slots within the cross hotbar. Use pet hotbar will give you the ability to use your pet hotbar on your cross hotbar. Use pet hotbar for mount actions and fashion accessories will display the actions for those mounts and accessories on your cross hotbar so you can easily access them with your gamepad. 
automatically replace cross hotbar with pet hotbar will make it so when you activate a mount with a special ability or action it'll automatically replace whatever you have on the cross hotbar with those actions enable duty action input will allow you to use the special abilities you get within certain instances on your controller by pressing the r3 button display control guide will give you a visual display on which buttons to press in order to activate certain actions and abilities on your cross hotbar enable edit mode will allow you to quickly delete or swap certain actions and abilities within your cross hotbar with controller and cross hotbar transparency will allow you to edit how visible your cross hotbar is you can change how visible your active set is which is when you press down the triggers on your controller and you can change how visible your inactive set is which is the set that isn't active at the time cross hotbar controls is about how you access the abilities on your hotbar you can hold the triggers on your controller in order to access the abilities or you can just toggle by just tapping the trigger on your controller to access the abilities or mix which is kind of both you can just tap the controller to access the abilities or you can hold it cross hotbar display type is more about how the like, actual abilities are ordered within your cross hotbar you can have it so on both the left and right side of your cross hotbar you have a actions you can access through the d-pad and actions you can access through the action buttons or you can just change it to where all the left side abilities are accessed by the d-pad and all the right side abilities are accessed by the action buttons and then we have w cross hotbar display settings or also called double cross hotbar display settings this literally adds an extra layer to your cross hotbar so you can quickly access more abilities now in order to actually access the double cross hotbar you have to change a setting in custom enable wxhp with simultaneous lt and rt double tap this lets you access your cross hotbar just double tap your trigger button and you can quickly access more abilities with a controller so for the toggles we have always display double crossbar or wxhb this will just always display your double crossbar on your screen even if it's not being used return to xhb after wxhp so this is just returning to your regular cross hotbar after using an action on your double cross hotbar this is great for if you're trying to weave abilities and things like that so you can quickly hit your double crossbar and then go right back to your regular crossbar position double crossbar separately from your regular crossbar this just lets you move around the double crossbar usually it's just right above your regular crossbar but if you want to like change the location of it on the screen you can easily do that and then finally we have our wxhb input timer this is just how long between the double taps of your trigger you can wait before the double crossbar activates so if you have this like really low you have to be really quick with the double tapping of the trigger and if you have a really high you can wait longer between the taps of your trigger before the double crossbar activates that can be nice but you may accidentally activate your cross hotbar when you don't mean to when you have your input timer super high but keep it as something that you feel comfortable with within the last tab here within the hotbar settings we have the custom tab which just lets you change some extra settings this section is primarily for the cross hotbar the custom tab has two different sections you have your pve settings and your pvp settings now both of these sections have the exact same settings it's just that you can set different settings for both the pve and pvp game mode if you want to do that so starting out here we have the expanded hold controls and it says here cannot use toggle type you usually have to use hold for some of these custom settings so take that into account as well when you're changing some of these but expanded hold controls if you enable expanded hold controls this allows you to use extra abilities if you're holding both left trigger and right trigger on your controller and you can access different abilities depending on which of the two triggers you hold down first if you hold down left trigger first then right trigger you can get a completely different hot bar than if you press the right trigger followed by the left trigger and you can completely customize that here as well if you want by choosing which hot bar you want to access when you do this motion enable wxhb with simultaneous lt and rt double tap we already went over this this is what you need in order to access the double crossbar and here you can enable only action buttons or enable directional and action buttons so if you enable only action buttons you will you get like access to four different abilities that you can access through the regular face buttons that's what the action buttons are or you can make it so you have even more abilities you can access through the double hotbar with 
directional and action buttons. And this is also where you can change like what hotbars you access. Next up, we have set selection. This will give you the ability to switch to a specific hotbar within your cross hotbar when you sheath or unsheath a weapon. If you want to switch to a specific hotbar set when you have the weapon sheathed, you can enable customization for when weapon is sheathed and then pick which hotbars you want to switch to when you sheath your weapon. You can do the same for when your weapon is drawn. And then over here in PvP settings, you can click Enable PvP Settings, which allows you to change all these same settings for the PvP game mode as well. So you can have completely different controls for your double hotbar, expanded hold controls, and all that stuff for PvP if you want to do that. Ah, and there we go. I hope my mouse and keyboard brain has effectively grasped the glorious cross hotbar in this video. But that should be it for now. Now, we only have one more chapter left before we have fully grasped the character configuration settings. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out the rest of the playlist and yeah, see ya.